Yeah, look, it's you. Come on. Come on. Got to learn how to travel with your, with your new family here. That's what we do this for. And then I walk this way. Okay. I'm gonna give her an option. So this is hunkering down. She's okay. It doesn't get any better than this. Because it's obvious. If you were inside, it would look like behind a chair or something. Trying to get out of the situation. Let's rewind the tape. First comes fight, then comes flight, right? For her. A dog who chooses fight over flight is going to choose fight first. That nine month old dog chose fight on me and her humans. I proved to her that fighting doesn't work. Now it's flight. And then what I'm going to do is prove to her that flight doesn't work. And then it's acceptance of me leading. <laughs> and then life gets good, okay? And she already tried to run away. She already tried to run away multiple times. Well, I say it's about four times now. This is, this is fifth, fifth attempt of running away. Let them try, this is how I train, I let them make their own choices and I am consistent with the consequences that are now part of her, life, her everyday life. The dog is learning to follow. But you see, it's only day two. She's got to push the boundaries. She has to, they all do, so that they can learn where those boundaries are. Come. Not coming. knows what that means. Come. And then I do the consequence. Come. Come. That's my girl. Come here. What happened? It's dangerous out there. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm looking for a commitment. Yes. Commitment. I become a safe spot. I'm a stranger as of yesterday. She's trying to bite me. She would try to bite and I'm not special. She'd try to bite you too if you were trying to grab the leash and tell her to go somewhere. They get dogs like this who are used to using their teeth. They're happy to let you know that they'll use their teeth. Okay, so she went from that to, I don't really want much to do with you in your pack, which was this morning. She was okay with me. Uh, she came up for this, right? But then as soon as the outside world was presented, it was like, yep, I'm out. There's a better option. And so now that's why we're out here. We're out here to let her come to her own realization that she would like to follow my leadership because it, the, the perception she's getting is, is that, you know, it's hard living out in the wild. She comes back to me, it's a, safe, it's a safe space. And I need that leverage so that she trusts me and respects me, and then we move on and create a balanced dog. Okay, so this is what I love to do with a dog like this who's they bite and then they fight and they're, and they're definitely committed to both. I'm looking to create, and you're seeing me do it, commitment to me and my leadership. She's gonna give it a shot one of these times, following me that is. She's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna commit to what this guy's saying. And she's gonna see that that's the path of least less resistance and she'll start choosing that. Good girl, all right? Break. Notice I'm not yelling and I'm not saying, get your butt back here, none of that. This is her, th this is her thing to figure out on her own. I can't force it. Once she starts to believe the way that I want her to believe, then the job's done. But she has to go, she's the type of dog that's gotta go see what the electric fence does. And maybe even check it twice, you know? And then once she understands it, she understands it. So let's see what she does. We will all walk away, rig, rig, rig. She has a choice to follow the pack. And, and this is what today is all about. Good girl, look at you following. Good girl. I never asked her to. But if she stopped and tried to go in the other direction, then we would repeat the recall. And she okay. looks happier. She does. She's going to find that pack life is pretty awesome. And that being a follower rocks because it doesn't come with all the anxiety that comes along with trying to lead every situation. See, the thought process, though, guys, this is why I love 
this job. I'm, I get to talk to the dog. I get to change the way they view the world in a better, positive, more healthy way. Good girl. These are all things that are big deals right now. Big deal. She's following by choice because of the experience she gets when she tries to go and do her own thing. So once we get a follower, man, training is nothing. Creating that mentality between human and dog is the real trick. That's really what people are paying for, whether they know it or not. Is, is, is? Look at her. Good girl, mama. Good girl. All right, this, this process with a dog like this, like certain dogs, it's done after the first session. A dog like her, we're gonna, it's gonna be closer to the end of the first week once we start going on hikes more situations because what's going to happen is she's kind of hanging around in this situation but if we go somewhere else she might try it again we need to generalize the response so and that will happen most importantly though when she hears that beep and she feels a correction she comes looking for the owner or the, or the handler come go gail go gail Good girl. That's very nice. I let her feel that. I let her feel not knowing what to do, but really wanted to know what to do. And I wasn't over, I wasn't giving her too much information because I wanted her to feel what it feels like without direction. It's stressful. Where do I go? And then I chirp in and I say, come here. And she's like, oh, thank God. Knowing how to, to, to do that kind of, to have those types of conversations, it's a whole different type of training. Good. Good. That rep, those reps like that, man, they, you do 10 of those, they freaking add up and they stick because she has to think so hard to figure it out. You're not just feeding her the answer every time, hoping that 400 reps on the road, she's going to get it. I mean, that's one way to do it. It's not, it's not my way. Break. Stop. That's my girl. Come here, honey. Hi. How was your stay so far? Commitment, remember? Good girl. Okay, so that's like rep five, right? She's starting to get it. You're starting to get it because these are big time memorable. Big time. Good girl. I only decided to do it because her mind was going, let's go back to the house. I, it wasn't even running away this time. It kind of was from us, but it was like kind of, <laughs> we know this trick by now. Good. And we know what's going to happen. We know how she's going to flip and how she's going to become better next week and better the week after that. Break. Come on, let's go. Come on, guys. Let it go. Six. I don't count reps, but I'm trying to show you how quick they can pick up on this. If you're patient, you know what to look for, and you let the dog have their own experience, come to their own conclusions. And once they do, you see the job gets easier, okay? Break. You see a certain level of understanding there, which is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay? That'll only deepen as we use it. Come on, honey. Her options are growing smaller and smaller. Yes, you're right. You're right in the box. <laughs> Let's go to the water now because we're Other than running away or hunkering down, there's really not another option, right? Right. Besides freezing. Or fight you. You fight, flight, freeze. And then there's then there's technically some people consider avoidance one of them. So. Mm. But other than that, there's yeah. What else is there? Disappear? You're gonna fight for your heel, heels and go back home? No, it's not gonna happen. There's only a certain amount of behavior you can do. You say no to them. What's left? The recall, which has already been reinforced and rewarded every time that she came. So it's more likely for her to do it again each and every time. Look at her with us, and I haven't asked her to look at me. I haven't done any of that. I just became extremely freaking relevant. And then that produces eye contact, that produces focus. That produces all the things that, that you know, if you're trying to get with a, with a treat or, or a ball or some type of reward, you're always gonna need those things. Luckily for me, I'm gonna be simply relevant enough that she looks at me. So the, the reason why she looks at me is because I'm me. So as long as I'm always me, she'll look at me. Come here, you. Hi. Hi. 
Come. Hi, hello, sweetheart. Now, she goes into her kennel. She has all sorts of stuff to decompress. She's experiencing, this is what happens when they sleep and all this stuff. They are processing through things that they've learned. Seeing the information that's important. And the more memorable I can make these little adventures, she's gonna go home. She's gonna go in the kennel, she's gonna process it. We take her out after she's processed and she remembers the lesson, okay? Far less attached and questioning it. This is important, these are the first steps. Look, the door's open, nobody said anything though. And there was only one rep and it was never, and we never brought her back inside. We simply let her rush out, did a recall. She chose to not listen to the recall. e collar pressure kicked on, she chose to listen to the recall. And that stayed consistent, and now the dog's mind is changing. The way she thinks about her options are changing. So maybe this guy does have something to do with what I can and can't do. Maybe he's here to show me. <laughs> Look, the door's there. Break! That's interesting. I didn't know that she would know what that meant exactly. She's only on day two, but I get the test. They give me opportunities all the time to see what their understanding is. Just like you can do at home when you go grab a piece of food that your dog wants and he does all the commands. And you're like, okay, he knows it. He just doesn't do it when he doesn't want to. That's an important thing to identify. And then I'm going to ask her to come back in. Just to see at the end of it all where her attitude is. And her understanding, but more importantly her attitude. Because these concepts are easy to get if you're paying attention. Come. Come. Okay, look. She heard me. She heard me. The beat tells her she's doing it wrong. Come. Good girl. That's my girl. And you know what? I'm very happy with that. Do you want to know why? Because she came in. First of all, she didn't run away. She waited at the door, which already is a freaking miracle. And then she did comply without any noise or stim from the e-collar, which is important. And then she went the wrong way. We know where she wants to go. She wants to go in her kennel and relax. Everybody does after her a hard working day because the water's in there, the treats are in there, the toy's in there. So she started to head that way. I beeped. You heard me beep. You see the thinking on her face. Like, what does that mean again? She just started this. She comes to me, good girl. We end it. She listens. I'm going to let her go relax. You know, she's going to appreciate that. And then we repeat. Break. All right, let's go. Let's just see how this goes. Okay, I love this. I love this because she, there's options presented. That door is open, this door is open. I'm just curious to see where she is. Let's go. Oh, yes, look at that. Let's go. So, uh, you know, we're big on letting dogs make choices. Huge on it. In fact, I think that's how they learn best. Come on. These are all informal, so if you're watching me and you're thinking, man, he's talking to a lot. I'm not saying the command word, if you notice that. But she knows what I'm trying to say, and this is a way to test how she feels about it before I actually say, okay, now there's a command which, which you have to comply to, and I'll follow through it. Let's go. And then, come. Good girl. Okay, that was a beat. No stem. If she got a stem, then we'll go to the stem. Have a nice. 